1995 was actually the, the first year that the team was a, an official varsity sport in the NCAA. One of the goals that the team set before the season was to play better and get better each and every day, particularly against the teams that we had played the year before. And if you go back and look at the, the stats and the scores of all the games the teams that we played from 1994 to 1995, we did perform better. Two of the finer accomplishments of the team were our games against St. Vincent's and Wesley College. We made tremendous improvement in both those games. We actually beat St. Vincent's in 1995 um, by one goal, which was a, a, a great win for the team. And then against Wesley College, the year before, they uh, beat us by 20 goals and we were within one goal starting the fourth quarter before their depth finally wore out our undermanned squad. The players on the team were very fortunate that year. You know, it being a brand new program, the budget wasn't very big and I uh, was able to get two uh, nice gentlemen, one to, to help coach the team. One, Scott Lindsay, was worked in the admissions office and he did it because he loved lacrosse and, and basically came out and donated his time. The other gentleman was Chuck Brooks, who ha was a longtime area uh, recreation coach. He had helped build, uh, at that time, Cockeysville's rec program into the premier program in the, the Maryland Youth Lacrosse Association and won several of their state championships. And those two gentlemen helped volunteer their time to help teach lacrosse, a game that they both loved, to the players. I look back finally in 1995 at what a great opportunity those guys had and I had together to start a, a new lacrosse program at a college that today has now grown into a premier program in Division III across the country where it's won a national championship and now is considered a threat to win it each and every year. Um, I believe that the, the, the young guys that I coached uh, are proud of the fact that they started this program.